I like what Lange meant. But I like the fact of no. Diallo. Lange's not even a squad player, bro. I, I, he actually I, I, is I, I, for Burnley, but yeah. not for us. <laughs> He's <laughs> fucking trash. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, people, what's going on? Back again. Another red sport. What are you telling me, bro? Yes, family. What are you saying, man? You good first and foremost? Yeah, come on, bro. Always good, you know. man. You know what I mean? Big up everyone in the chat. Um, Aaron's on holiday still. I think I told him to shout me when he's back. I spoke to him more a few days ago, so he ain't back yet. I don't know when he's back, but he should be back for the next show, I think. Um, yeah, man. Big up the chat. No, I mean a lot going on. Obviously, um, season's over. Man, them are fucking spending money already. Aston Villa out here spending Wait, who money. Villa who, who, who did Villa bruv, sign? Bruv, Villa signed some done that I don't even fucking care about. Yeah, <laughs> but and, <laughs> and, and obviously um, they um, they patterned um, what's his name Kamara as well. Yeah, I know they got Kamara, but yeah, when you said and they that, signed some the next done, bro. they signed some next done today, bro. Okay, yeah, Gerard trying to do a lot in it. That's what it is, man. Gerard yeah, trying to some, them some, allegations. Do you know what I mean? Some cartel Donny fam. You get me? That's some, wild, some, man. yeah. I don't <laughs> know, guy. but but they're spending money though. Is he you South know what American? I'm, I'm guessing he's South American. Yeah, yeah, bro. We yeah. might be spending money. I think so. Yeah, like do you know what I mean? But they're spending money, bro, and we're not. That's what I'm saying. This, this is this this is just what it is, isn't it? Like they're spending money. Um, obviously, think... City have already got Hall and wrapped. Um, mm -hmm. They wrapped the Alvarez U already. Yeah. Um, bruv, we need to spend some bread, fam, because oh. it's it's not been long and teams are getting busy. You know what I mean? Tottenham yeah, yeah, obviously yeah. announced the 150 million injection. You know that's all going on players. Um, it's time for Man United to get busy, man. I'm hearing all these things about what who Ten Hag thinks he can improve. Fuck the improvements, blood. Man, need to sign some ballers because <laughs> you know like that. Man, I don't want to hear about no improvements, B. Fuck improve that nah, we do need to sign, but just in terms of quantity, I've said this. Yeah, we want quality ballers in. Look at the amount mm. of players we are losing. We need ballers just for bodies. Mm. We can't go into the season with a 14 man squad. You know what I'm saying? Look how many men are out of contract. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. now you look like Tox's is Martial's leaving. You got Cavani's mm -hmm. left. We got one senior striker. Like we need mm. bodies everywhere. We got one senior striker. We got no first choice right winger. We got no sixes. Now Mike just left. We got zero sixes. Talks is Jones and Baye are leaving. We got three centre backs. Like Wamba is mm. on his way out. We got one right back. So yeah, man, we need um, um we need play we need players. So yeah, man, hopefully this these timber news, this timber news is like legit. That's what I'm hearing anyway. So I'm all for it. But we need to sign some we need to sign some players, and I think we will. The money will get spent. Mm. So I mean, they're man are saying that he's good on FIFA anyway. The centre back that they signed <laughs> at Aston Villa, but bro, um. It's just one of them ones where at least they're moving with um, a purpose. Do you know what I mean? They're saying Tarkovsky is heavily linked as well. So Villa have um, admitted that they need to address their backline, which they do, because Tyrell Mings is an absolute disgrace, fam. Do you know what I mean? So, so it's, 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 yeah. That's it, Tarkovsky. Want... Go, really going for Tarkovsky? Like, I get he's better than Mings, but is that where is that where Gerard's are? each their own in it? I suppose Villa. I suppose he would do mm. a good job there, actually. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's what I mean, so... We don't, we don't really know, bro. But um, hopefully United have a um, hopefully United have a plan, bro. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully they have a plan. Obviously the manager's gonna, the manager's gonna want some people. Do you know what I'm saying? The manager's yeah. gonna want some players, but my United need to just start spending money, bro. Like I'm not gonna believe it till it starts happening. Do you know what I'm saying? Like man, talk about Darwin Nunez, bro. Listen, bro, Darwin <laughs> Nunez, yeah. Is is one that Man United have been in talks with. George Mendes is involved with him now, so it's an interesting dynamic, and he's been working on a deal for Nunez. Bruv, George Mendes fuck that guy, bruv. You see, I heard he's trying to get a new deal for the hair again or something like that. I don't yeah, know why what's is, going on, bruv. Why is the hair getting a new here, deal? Bruv. What, how long have is no the hair idea, getting? Bruv. That makes no I sense. I have no idea, bruv. When I start hearing the hair new deal rumors, yeah, then I know, yeah, bruv, it's time to log out of Twitter, yeah. bro. You know, like <laughs> that. I don't, it's time to log out, fam. You know what I mean? It's fucked. Like, I don't, I don't understand what's going on. That's why I don't pay attention. Like, I see it on Twitter, I see it on the gram, and you see all these transfer rumors, and I take it all with a pinch of salt. Will I discuss it? Yes, but I take it all with a pinch of salt. Like, without question. Mm. Like, Nunes, he seems to be, he's the hot topic currently in that. He's the hot topic mm. and the name we've been linked with as well. Why are we not in for Basuma? That's what I want to know. You got Basuma, you got Nevers. He's been linked with Chelsea, bro. Makes sense. 
Makes perfect sense. Very he's good a player, and I think he's. I think his case has um, been dropped as well, so yeah. he's active now. Yeah. Who's a better replacement for them than Kante than Basuma? He can do the exact same mm. role that Kante does for them, and he is very, he's better on the ball as well. So it would make sense. Mm. Why are we not looking at Basuma and Nevers? And you got Tillem. There's so many midfielders just in the Premier League alone. So hopefully there is a plan. I do believe Ten Hag they will sit down and identify targets and get the ball rolling and get moving. Because I'm not trying to hear improvement. Is there an odd player in the squad? Yeah, you look at and go, he could work with, yes, the likes of Fred, Adelo, those types, but the rest of them, nah. We mm. need to keep it moving, 100%. Yeah, that's what I mean. Basuma, I mean, Christian Eriksen's on a free, I'll take him as well. But if you get Eriksen, you get Basuma, yeah, and you get De Jong, yeah, bro, that midfield's calm. That's what I mean. That midfield's patterned because Donny's obviously coming back, Fred's there as well. Do you know what I'm saying? That man are nice, bro. Do you know you what I'm saying? Depth. You got yeah, that's fine. Man. But Man United need three midfielders if they're going to lose Matic and Pogba. They need three, blood, because they need one anyway. And that's three minimum when you think about it. Because to mm. me, I think we need, in terms of quantity, we need the two sixes to match that. And then in terms mm. of quality, say Donny comes back, you got Fred. I don't like Bruno or McTominay. So you're saying three midfielders yeah, minimum. Not. In the ideal world, I'm saying four. I'm saying, I'm saying a whole mm. new revamp. I'm not trying to see McTominay be back up. Fred, cool. But the rest of them, nah. I'm saying, why am I saying Ten Hag already getting backstabbed? Who knows? Yeah, I don't really know because you're right. Obviously, Fred's an eight. We need another eight. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And we, we, probably need, we need two sixes because Matic is a six he's leaving and then we needed another six anyway. Anyway, because we only had a one six. two sixes and an eight. Donny can play ten. Bruno yeah. thinks he's a ten. So you could say, God, there's our two tens there. We still need another eight and two sixes, really. Yes. Do you know what I mean for balance because McTominay is neither McTominay ain't a six. I'm not having that. Do you know what I mean? No. He's not an eight. McTominay is just he's barely a footballer. So yeah, I don't really know what's going on with that situation, bro. So you should be back up to all of that. But yeah, like I said, because it's early in the transfer window, I'm giving it time and we'll see what's what. Because Ten Hag literally has just landed. So he's probably just getting situated and talking with everybody. And I'm not talking about the players in terms of the staff, how everything mm. works. You understand? It's a whole new world for him that's just mm. move country you know what i'm saying and that man's just getting situated within the city type of thing yeah yeah the young talks did go cold they did but i like the fact we was linked with him even if it doesn't happen i like the fact we're being linked with so many midfielders with vim because before we wasn't linked with any there was very very few links it was always why players or sancho it was Varane, it was ronaldo yeah. we weren't linked with anyone but now we're linked with the young that's good i like to hear more midfield links i want to hear two or three yeah Excellent. that's what i mean and um, Bruv, the quality that he would bring into the team, yeah, like he'll be our best midfielder on the ball straight away if he comes in, bro. Straight away if he comes in, because with Pogba going out, it's a no brainer, bro. You have to get someone like Christian Eriksen, bro. His experience, his ability, do you know what I mean? And he's free, blood. Man United need to start exploiting that, bro. All the top clubs exploit the free agency, bruv. All of them do. Yeah. All of um, them do. Juventus has been exploiting it for years. Do you know what I mean? PSG exploited it last summer. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's like, a lot of the top teams, yeah. If you've got the pool, you should be getting you should be getting hold of these players, and especially with Man United um having the ability to pay whatever wages possible. Ericsson's not going to be on a lot, so like wages aren't the problem, bro. It's just getting there at the right time. Well, it, wages aren't a problem, and it's that's an easy sell. This is Ericsson; he's been over here before. It's an easy, mm. easy sell to get him, and I would take him definitely as a squad player. Bring him in free. He wouldn't be on a lot of money either, so he should fit the wage mm -hmm. budget because that is one thing with the amount of players leaving we can get under control now because our out of control wages is the issue why we couldn't move so many man on because man are on ridiculous money that's why i'm glad a lot of these players are moving on a free like, why is phil jones on big money what is going on yeah. hey a new deal bruno Let's talk on big him money. getting sold but who's buying phil jones blood that's a straight end of contract terminate yeah. it, bruv we'd have to pay we'd have to pay like some of his wages or some of that fee that's to to, to move the money because was he not linked with I know this was a while back. Was it last season? Was he not linked with Evan? It was either Evan or Newcastle. This is before the takeover. For Newcastle. Evan, I believe. Evan, yeah. I believe. So it was like somebody will definitely take a punt on Phil Jones, even if it's lower we down, did. like the leaks. Yeah, somebody they will. will. Yeah, yeah, they will. But I'm saying they're not going to buy him. Oh no, you know he's like not that. Yeah, bro, <laughs> like, he's not an asset, bro. You do not spend money on Phil Jones. You know, like that. You do not spend. Um, Money on Phil Jones, he's literally a dictionary definition of a liability, blood. You just take him and hope for the best, innit? Yeah. Like, that's what you do, bruv. You just gotta take him onto your medical bill. Like, yeah, that's hope. all it is. 
Things change insurance shit. policies and that. You know what I'm saying? From United to whatever club, bro. That's just what is the guy's a fucking liability. So, yeah. And that my man saying Lingard, Pogba, Matter, and Matic all leaving, bro. That's four midfielders out the door, bro. Do you know what I mean? Obviously. So, yeah, bro. We need to bring in at least, really, we need to bring in three midfielders, bro. Yeah. We really do. And, and that's you know, just midfield. Do. You know what I'm saying? Because when so you get talk Eric about the three, that's one less to worry about, bro. Yeah. Ericsson on the free. It's that easy, man. United should just shout us. You can get Ericsson, go get Neves, go get Basuma. We good. Find a couple sixes mm. somewhere. Like, and go pattern that. You know what I'm saying? Go pattern that. That's fine. Because we got other areas we need. Like that defense needs a revamp. I've said this already. Our attack mm. is being neglected. Who is our right winger at, currently right now? Who's our best right winger? It's probably Diallo. It's probably oh, yeah. Diallo. Who's our best right I'd, winger? I'll right give him a chance next season. 100 percent I'll give him a chance next season. I'd play him as a squad. I'd play him to back, but I want us to go out and sign a right winger and then have Diallo as backup. I think it's unfair to throw him in right now and go, yo, I you're the guy. I, gonna do. I don't, you know. You throw him in. Gonna I'd throw him in. I'll throw him in because go top on. level, who, name me any top level right sided players yeah, that, are, that are in the game right now that are realistically available, like top level, bro. Right hand side, bro. Oh, top level is a whole other conversation. No, but I mean, better, like good, bro. Left footed, oh, top so level. That are available because man can say at least say yeah, but what if Crystal Palace say they don't want to sell him because bro, they don't have to sell man, bro. Don't have to sell him. Man, I mentioned the least. I've won. I said Rafinha for the longest. That was the one. For and me. even I said even Rafinha, Rafinha, bro, like bro, Rafinha is good, but fam, like Rafinha is gonna cost money. Le at least they didn't get relegated. If they're asking no, they for didn't. fifty million, if they're asking me for fifty million for Rafinha, yeah, or play mm -hmm. Ahmad, I'm playing Ahmad. I'd have both. I'd sign Rafinha and be like, you know what? Have both I would have signed for fifty million though. I'm not gonna lie. How come not 50? I think that's a that's a good deal. That like if they were talking about 89, that's when I'd be like, Whoa, but I think Rafino for what he's done, Premier League proven, I'm like 50 M's. I'm like, yeah, I don't I'm know. Gonna... He gassed he gassed me early, bro. He gassed yeah. me early, but the more I watch him, the more I don't think he's that good, you know. What I don't think, think he's all so. that. I don't, I'm not really sold on Rafinha, bro. Like, I'm not like I was I before, and mm -hmm. the more I've watched him, the more he just looks like he just looks bare rack, bro. Like he just he don't look, yeah. His end products just iffy, bro. You know that was like man don't need that, bro. At least with Ahmed, Ahmed's tidy, bro. Like he gets his head up, he finds passes, mm. and that Rafinha just looks like he just he just keeps spamming until something happens, bro. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not <laughs> what it I'm not I I'm not really on, I'm not really on that. I can't even yeah. lie, bro. Like when I watch Rafinha, he just looks like a volume player, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like I wouldn't quite say it's um What's his name? Nicolas Pepe vibes, but it's similar. Like you just gotta just keep giving him the ball, bro. Like when you watch Leeds, yeah, yeah. he's their best player, so they just keep giving him the ball, in it. So he looks and good because he has loads of the ball. Like Man United, like you're not gonna keep feeding him, feeding him, feeding him, feeding him, feeding him, feeding him. Do you know what I mean? Like we need to be attacking, we're balancing, especially if you got Sancho mm -hmm. on the other side. We're gonna be sharing the ball evenly. So you need someone that when they get on the ball, yeah, they use it mm -hmm. smartly. Do you know what I mean? And, and with him, I feel like you need to play through him. And I think that's what it is. I see what you're saying with that, but I'm thinking with him not being the main man and being a focal point under Ten Hag mm -hmm. as well. I think you can use him in the system because he has all of the fundamentals there. I think he plays that way at Leeds because he is the main man. He is to Leeds mm -hmm. what Grealish was to Villa in terms yeah. of everything goes through him. Yeah, and what Mares was to Leicester, yeah. What Mares is to Leicester. So it's like, I've, yeah. I've already thought of the idea of Sancho on one side, Rafinha the other. Even if it's Anthony, I'm cool with that. But go and sign somebody to compete with Diallo. If Diallo's playing, cool. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to be relying on him. Yeah, he has, to be, he has season. to be the number two, though. For me, he has to be the number two on the right-hand side. It's like, if you're going to play, mm -hmm. if you're going to sign a left-footed inverted winger, then the, his mm -hmm. backup needs to be a left-footed inverted winger, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. You know what I mean? Like, man need to keep the same kind of balance. We need to keep the same fluidity throughout the team. But um, my problem like is with players like Rafinha, players like even Grealish, and players like Mahrez, like, bro, like, when you don't use them as like the main creative outlet in the team bro you definitely lose something do you know what i'm saying so mm -hmm. and and this is and this is the thing i'm not really sure blood i'm not really sure of rafinha every time i watch him yeah it's like you can see he's got talent but i don't know i just feel like there's something missing from his game bro i don't know i can't tell you exactly what it is but i just feel like he doesn't wow me blood like when i watch him play like he doesn't wow me at all blood like not at all like he looks dangerous but like when I watch him play, I don't think like yo, this guy's got levels to go. Do you know what I mean? I feel like this is just as good as he's gonna get, bro. Yeah, yeah. I don't know I if think that's enough. 
I think in a better team, he could get better. But at the level he's at currently, if you throw him in the mix, competent striker and Sancho with a right back, let's say it's that low, or let's say it's mm-hmm. us, Timber, or another right back. I'm like, I think he could, because I was Rafina, what, 24, 25, something like that. So I'm like, yo, you can defo. I'm with it on um, with Rafina. Like, I think, at, again, at the right price, and I don't think his wages is going to be much, because I'm sold on him. I'm like, and mm-hmm. buying from within the Premier League as well. And foot leads, so it'd be great to take their players. He's miles better than Rashford. That's not what we're doing, but that's a funny comment. <laughs> that's a funny He's comment. 25. I'm, I'm not paying, I'm not 25. paying 50 million for him, though. That's what I'm saying yeah. for us. If man gave him, gave me him for 35, I'd, I'd shake that hand. Bro, but how, wait, how much was Diallo? Because like... Diallo was 40, right? Was Diallo 40? Yeah. Or including all the add-ons, add-ons and stuff. Add-ons add-ons all the stuff. add-ons, I think Diallo's thing goes up to 40 yeah. or something like that. But I just I'm, like those two I'm options. seeing Diallo looks like he's got the X factor, bro, when I watch him play, bro. I don't really see that from... Do you know what I mean? I don't really see that from my man, bro. I see a guy that's game to run at people. Do you know what I'm saying? Like man said, Rafinha's a go top z That's what he reminds me. Hey, bro, hey, he just reminds me of someone that's game, innit? Right. Like, someone yeah. just game to run at people, and that's about it. Like, yeah. he's, he Chelsea, just, he's exciting. He's exciting. Chelsea fans would give all of their wingers to get Rafinha. Let's not do that. You know what I'm saying? And that Chelsea, mm-hmm. Chelsea, ask any Chelsea fan, they would give all of their attackers and Mason Mount to get Rafinha with the attack they've seen. Trust me, I've watched a lot of their games. But yeah, and that's how I look at it with Leeds. You're going to be in a miles better team. And you should be, obviously, I'm thinking dominating the ball and having more of the ball. And all of the pressure's not on you. Know what I'm saying and that, so we'll see. Now, nah, Langer's a squad player, man. You lot are tripping, man. Allow a Langer, man. But I like the fact of no. Diallo. Langer's and another... not even a squad player, bro. I, I, he actually I, I, is I, I, for Burnley, yeah. but not for us. <laughs> He's <guy>. fucking trash. <laughs> oh, oh, <my> God. <laughs> nah, a Langer is actually but, rubbish, bro. Like, you know but, what's mad? Yeah, I really wanted a Langer to do well, you know, young yeah. black brother. Yeah, I really wanted him to do yeah. well, bro. Like, I even, like, bruv, man even gave him, like, the customary follow on Instagram and that, you know, the ones when he was coming through and that I had to unfollow, man. Because I was like, I can't I keep seeing him on my feed. Wow. Yeah, bruv, I can't keep yeah. seeing him on my feed. When bro. I say squad player, I'm not saying, Just, like, back was like, no, it hurts me for flawless when I see this guy, bro. He's just in the gym doing deadlifts. It's like, bruv, you should be on the training ground. Working on the football, blood man. Don't yeah. give a fuck, bro. This is, I told man's a gym shark athlete, bro. Stop posting, yeah, yeah like bro. pictures and videos of you training in the gym, bruv. Get on the fucking grass, bro. I hear Do you know that. what I'm saying? Like, I'm tired of these footballers. I'm tired of these footballers. Get yeah, on the grass, bro. Get on the grass, bruv. When man, bruv, we both watch basketball. Yeah, yeah. When you look at all these basketball players, these men are in the gym. You mm. wasn't with me, you wasn't with me shooting in the, the gym, gym, blood. In the gym. Yeah. Yeah. In the yeah, basketball yeah. gym, on the court. Yeah, on the court. Not yeah, in the yeah, fucking okay. weight room, blood. You know them ones there? You see them man putting in the hours on the fucking court, blood. These footballers yeah. in the fucking gym, bruv. You can't yeah. take the gym on the pitch with you. You know what I'm saying? Get on the fucking grass. Do you know what I'm saying? And practice. Practice your fucking finishing. Practice, practice your first touch. Practice oh, your those technical things. attributes. I hear all... I hear all that. Yeah, I hear I hear all of that, and I'm all for he needs to like, and that's not just for him, that's for all players. But when I say squad player, I'm not saying back it up, like I said, mentioned Rafino. I'm saying Rafino, Diallo, and another one. You know what I'm saying? I call him the Swedish Pele, you know. You had a while in, <laughs> you had a while in, you know. They got the same trim, and that's about it. You had, a, you, had, you had a while in, but yeah, when I say squad player, I'm not talking about him being backup, I'm saying being backup to the backup. Mm. Just a squad player to have there. You see him in the odd Carabao Cup game, Europa League game, stuff like that. Mm. You bad did it. I about only followed the Lenga's so bad, bro. He's yeah, so wow. bad. You know them ones. I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. When he first broke free, I was like, Yeah, young G, I'm backing it. I'm backing it. And I was like, nah, bro. This yeah, guy. because we seen because we seen all his deficiencies. Because this guy was playing, he was legit our first choice right winger, like for the majority yeah. of the end of the season. And that's where you see his defeat. Nowhere near should that happen. Alanga shouldn't be. He shouldn't be our first choice or second choice. To me, he should be backing that up. That's what it is. You had a while in, yo, in the chat. You had a while in. <laughs> you had a while in. Oh, it well, eh, bruv. Oh, yeah, I remember that meme, blood, with Welbeck. Oh, my Oh, Welbeck days. holding holding the World Cup. Yeah, it's when Welbeck oh, on the yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout Amazing, out my guy, Welbs, bro. man. That's my guy, man. Shout out Daddy Welbeck that's what, every time. That's fucking funny, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, and you know what's funny? Welbeck just seems like a proper cool you, blood. You know yeah, what I'm like, man, like Welbs and that. He just seems yeah, like a proper cool. nice guy, brother. He gets so much corn. It's so funny. 
Yeah, and he's nowhere near as bad as people make. I'm talking about not for United. I'm saying he's a Premier League striker. Like, my plays in the Premier League and he's calm. But people act like he's absolutely terrible and that. Like, nah, I like, shout out to Welbeck. But yeah, with the Langer and players like that, I'm, that man should be third choice. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I look at it. You shouldn't really be the... we got other things to deal with. First choice, second choice. That's our problem. Ha, ha, ha.